Hi, this is Mike with Max Rigging, and what we're talking about here today is how to measure heel cup height. In theory, heel cup height is the distance from the top of the seat to the bottom portion, if you want to come real close here, the bottom portion of the shoe. This distance here gives you some, some guidelines into how far the heels drop down and what's actually more comfortable for the rower. So what we do, pretty simply, is just get a straight edge. It doesn't have to be a rigor stick. It could be anything you want. It doesn't matter how high it is. It doesn't matter what shape it is as long as it's consistently used. And we just stick it here. I go from this point here, and you'll see, we'll just call that 9.5 centimeters. Now, we take this right along here, the gunnel. Flip that around. See, there's a little indentation, so I'm just going to flip that around. And then I run this right down here. And make sure you hold the heels, because a lot of times when boats are stored upside down and they're wet, the, the heels tend to come up like this and stay that way. So push it down. And I go right there. And you can see now that we're at 27. So we're about 18 centimeters or so, which is a, which is a really good heel height. The thing is, though, you want to go off comfort. I think that's much more important. I think it's also more important to go off of looking at an athlete, how far their knees are up and what, what the comfort level is. Athletes come in all sorts of different sizes and proportions from here to here, from the shoulder to the hip and hip to the ankle. That proportion changes for people, for gender. So you want to get a, a proportion that's correct. Now, this will give you a guideline. 18 centimeters is pretty much a widely accepted guideline but you just find one that's good for you. And if it doesn't work, either it's for you or one of the kids on the team, you adjust the foot stretchers, and it's pretty simple to do. Hudson's are a little bit different. This is a Hudson boat. It's a little bit different than we would do in a Pocock or Vespoli. So you just have to look at your boat, look at the manual, watch, ask somebody how to do it, drop me a note, talk about it, go to the manufacturer, and then figure out how to do it if you want to make the adjustment.